Hello and welcome. This is going to be a Minecraft server tutorial where I'm going to show you how to set up your own Minecraft server, um, especially for those of you who have never done it before. It's going to be a very simple step-by-step -step tutorial uh, where each step will be dis um, described very specifically and you can actually click on a specific step in the description below. There's several steps that are listed and there are different videos that you can actually just link to directly. Um, now, this is only for Windows, unfortunately, because Mac and Linux users will find it a little bit more difficult. Uh, but if there's enough uh, requests, I'll actually make another video where I'll explain how to set up a Mac server or a Linux server as well. Um, now, you have to make sure that you have Java installed, because that's something that uh, this game requires. And if you can play Minecraft, like right now my Minecraft is running, it, that probably means you already have Java. But in order for you to run a server and to modify certain things, you also have to um, make sure that Java is actually in your pathways as well. So I'll show you how to do this. So let's uh, start with the first step. And the first step is to basically go to Java page. And the link for this is in the description below as well. Uh, so click on Java download and agree to download. Start the file. Uh, it will open something like this. Now I already have mine installed, but yours might be different if you have an older version, for example. Uh, now for this particular version in, what is it, uh, April, May 2014, you need to have Java 7, but if you're watching this from the future, you may need to have a uh, different Java, uh, Java 8 possibly. And uh, so this asks me to reinstall my software, I already have it, so I'm going to say no. If you had something else pop up, then you probably have a lower version, so say yes and make sure that you have a latest version of Java. Uh, now, this is step number one, but now you also have to make sure that uh, your Java is actually um, added to your uh, Windows system pathways. I'll show you how to do this. Now, in order for us to check if you have everything set up correctly, uh, you have to open the run window, which is actually accessible through, from your start button, or you can also just hold your Windows key plus R. So if I do Windows plus R, I'll have my run window pop up again right here. So you need to enter CMD, which is which stands for command. So CMD and then click OK and you'll have this black window pop up. So in here, all you need to do is type Java minus version, Java minus version and enter. Uh, if you have what I have right now, Java is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file, then you'll need to follow the step I'm going to describe right now. If, however, you have Java pop up and it, it tells you what it is, you can skip to the next step right now. All right, so for those of you who have no not recognized Java, this is what you need to do. Now, this is actually probably one, one of the more complex steps in this tutorial, and it's actually kind of optional, but I do recommend that you do this because it will allow you to modify your server and to run it even better, especially if you have uh, a lot of users using it. So to um, what we need to do now is we need to make sure that Java is added to our system pathways. And to do this, this is what we do. You have to open your control panel and go into your advanced system settings. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of different icons here and you probably do too. You may not be able to find it. So if you look for uh, the search button right here and you just type advanced system, advanced system, Ooh, Minecraft music is playing, it's really nice. Uh, you'll have it show up right here. It's uh, view advanced system settings. Alternative, uh, alternatively, you can also do this. You, I'm just gonna close this for a second. You can go back to the run window, which is once again, window uh, Windows button plus R. Now, instead of CMD, if you type this, control, control sysdm.cpl, this is actually in the description below as well. If you type this and you click OK, you'll have exactly the same thing pop up. So you'll have this window pop up. This is what you need. Go into advanced, advanced uh, tab right here and click on environment variables, environment variables. And these are basically your pathways that your Windows recognizes already. Now, once you find this window, once you have this window open, before we can add something here, this is what we need to do. We need to find out where you installed your Java. And this will depend on whether you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit system. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what system you have. I have a 64-bit system. And the way to find out what you have or where your Java is, is to go into your um, window, ex uh, no, what is that called, File Explorer, which is basically you right click on your Windows button and you open Windows Explorer. So it's going to look like this. Now go into your C drive 
I, I'm assuming C drive is your primary drive. And then go into either program files or program files x86. Yeah, actually, if you have two like this, you most likely have a 64-bit system. If you only have one, you probably have a 32-bit system. So for me, it's actually right here. My Java is in program files x86, and then it's under Java right here. So this is where it is, and this is my pathway for Java. So uh, I'll post both of these uh, links uh, because these are probably installed by default I'm, I'm going to post both of these links in the description below so you can just copy paste them so this is the link that I need and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my environmental variables click on edit and then scroll down to the right uh, click on semicolon um, and then copy paste what I posted in the description below so basically it's this it's C program files, x86, Java, GRE7, bin. Uh, now, once you have this, click OK, and then click OK again, and then click OK again. Now, what you need to do for this to activate is you have to restart your computer. So basically do that and then come back to the next step and play the next video. All right, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to post more Minecraft videos as well. And see you later. See you in the next part.